WTFNN. Headline News Update. Folks, to the 4 p.m. stock market update. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. Uh, he will be back Tuesday, of course. We are off Monday for the federal holiday. Let's take a look at everything ended up. We have the ES about flat here. The Russell uh, off about 0.25%. NQ flat. Dow futures down about 3.7%. Gold and silver did all right today. I can't say the same for my boy copper, which is a bit of a shame. But gold contract trading about 2,051, up about 1.59%. Silver up 2.69%. Of course, we have these crude oil futures blowing out. It's good to look into. Tesla trading down 3.74% on news that they were going to halt uh, production of their Berlin factory due to conflicts in the Red Sea. Steel Dynamics trading at 113.22. The dollar about up 0.24% at 102.44. Of course, we want to see that go down. The banks, uh, Bank of America down 1.03%. JP Morgan down about 0.73%. And Citigroup up about 1.04%. I want to talk about before we end, because I know we only got about buck 40 left here. This was super interesting. The ETFs went off for Bitcoin, obviously. SEC said it's a, <laughs> I'm just kidding. They didn't say it was a great thing, but they did allow us to invest in it, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is BlackRock CEO, Larry Fink. Uh, is This is the first time you have a really established, I guess, investor really say, that this is a protective asset, which is Bitcoin. And I've made the argument really even against that. And in some ways it might function this way, but I've seen it function opposite ways and be much more of a, of a way just uh, being treated as a quickly appreciating asset as opposed to somewhere uh, like gold where you can store it. That's pretty notable. He says, I believe it goes up if the world is frightened. If the people have fearful geopolitical risks, they're fearful of their own risks. It's no different than what gold represented over thousands of years. It is an asset class that protects you. Uh, unlike gold, where we manufacture new gold, we're almost at the ceiling of the amount of Bitcoin that can be created. What we're trying to do is offer an instrument that can store wealth. Interesting. The statement comes just two days after the U, uh, excuse me, the SEC approved BlackRock alongside 10 other asset managers spot Bitcoin ETFs. Anyways, kind of fascinating to look into. And uh, if you're not hip with it, try to. It's pretty neat. Folks, thank you so much. We're gone Monday. We're back Tuesday with Tommy O'Brien, Basil, Steve, Larry, and then finally, the man Tom is back. Have a great rest of your weekend. Currencies 